All right, so in this problem, I have 0 0.01 to the power of x is equal to 2. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 0 0.01 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 0 0.01 to the power of x is equal to log 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 0 0.01 to the power of x. And I can simply move x to the front. So that's going to equal x times log 0 0.01 is equal to log 2. Now 0 0.01, this is the same thing as 1 over 100. So now I have x times log 1 over 100 is equal to log 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So in this case, I have log 1 over 100. And I can rewrite this as log x times log 1 minus log 100. This is equal to log 2. So now, log 1 simply equal to 0, and log 100 is simply equal to 2. So I have x times 0 minus 2 is equal to log 2. That's equal to approximately 0 0.301. Now, 0 minus 2 is negative 2, so I have negative 2 times x is equal to 0 0.301. And now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2. So these two cancel out and I'm left with x is equal to 0 0.301 over negative 2, which is equal to negative 0 0.1505. So this is my answer. All right, guys, in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 333. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to factor out 3 to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I have 3 to the power of x times. Now 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x, that's simply 1. So I have 1 plus, again, it's the same thing, 1 plus Final time, the same thing. And this is equal to 333. Now, if I add what's in the parentheses, I get 3. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 333. So now I obviously want to isolate 3 to the power of x because this is the term that has the variable x that we're solving for. So I want to try to find a way to get rid of this 3. So to do that, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Now, these two 3's simply cancel out, and I'll be left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 333 divided by 3, which is 111. So now, I got this equation. 3 to the power of x is equal to 111. So, to solve this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 111. So now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So for log 3 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. 
So now that would lead to me having x times log 3 is equal to log 111. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by log 3. So then for my left hand side, these two log 3s simply cancel out and I'll be left with x is equal to log 111 over log 3. So now if I have something in the form log a over log b, this is simply equal to log base b of a. So in this case, I have log 111 over log 3, and I can write this as log base 3 of 111. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 22 minus 2 to the power of 21 is equal to 8 to the power of x. So I know at first glance, this problem looks pretty complicated. However, it's actually easier than you might think it is. So for this problem, I'm solving for the value of x. So for my solution, first start with 2 to the power of 22 minus 2 to the power of 21 is equal to 8 to the power of x. Now, it's 22 here. This is the same thing as 21 plus 1. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 21 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 21 is equal to a to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 21 plus 1, I can rewrite it as 2 to the power of 21 times 2 to the power of 1. And I still have minus 2 to the power of 21 is equal to a to the power of x. And now from here, 8, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 21 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 21 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now from, for my left hand side, if I factor out 2 to the power of 21, I get 2 to the power of 21 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. This is still equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now 2 to the power of 1, that's equal to 2, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So I'm left with 2 to the power of 21 times 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now anything times 1, it's simply itself. So 2 to the power of 21 times 1 is simply 2 to the power of 21. So I have 2 to the power of 21 times 2, or is, sorry, is equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x. So I have 2 to the power of 21 is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 21 is equal to 3x. So I have 21 is equal to 3x. All I have to do to solve this is simply divide both sides by 3. These two cancel out. And I'll be left with x is equal to 21 divided by 3, which is simply 7. So x equals 7 is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 10. So I'm going to first start by letting y equal 2 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 3x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. Now I have this plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 10. Now I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I get y to the power of 3 plus y is equal to 10. 
Now, if I subtract 10 on both sides, I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. And now y, I can rewrite this as 5y minus 4y. Now from here, I can factor by grouping. And before I do that, I'm going to switch the order of 5y and 4y. So I now I have y to the power of 3 minus 4y plus 5y minus 10 is equal to 0. So now if I factor by grouping, I can start with y to the power of 3 minus 4y. I'm going to factor out y, so I get y times y squared minus 4, plus from 5y minus 10, I have 5 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, y squared minus 4, I can rewrite that as y plus 2 times y minus 2. And now from here, notice that the only common factor of for all these terms is y minus 2. So I have y minus 2 times y times y plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 0. And now if I simplify this, I get y minus 2 times y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. And now I, I get two equations. I get y minus 2 is equal to 0, and y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. So for y minus 2 equals 0, y is obviously equal to 2. And for y squared plus 2y plus 5 equals 0, we're going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 2, and c is 5. So I get y is equal to negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 5, all over 2a. So 2 times 1. And this is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20, which is negative 16, over 2. And... I can rewrite this as negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1 over 2. And this is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 times i, because the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. And the square root of 16, that's equal to 4. So I get y is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 4i over 2. Now, if I divide 2 with both these terms, I get y equals negative 1 plus or minus 2y. Now, remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal to y. So I get 2 to the power of x is equal to 2i minus 1. And I get 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 2i minus, minus 1. Now, we can't actually take the power of a positive number and make it equal to something with i. So there is no solution for this, meaning that we can only use y equals 2. So I get 2 to the power of x equals 2, meaning our only solution for x is 1.